I'm right here on the edge of the Abuswit Glacier. At a thousand meters, it's probably about negative 10, something like that. We've got a fire here at the ready. So it is going to be pot roasted ptarmigan. Uh, we've got a roasty potato and some cabbage, beetroot, and a bit of bacon. First off, splash of oil into our pan there. And here, I've got some rough chopped vegetables. I've got onions, I've got garlic, I've got carrots today. And I'm just letting the flavors out of that. A Little bit of my thyme up front here. Throw him straight in. All of the things we add now simply go into the ptarmigan when we cook them in the oven because they get pressure cooked into it. Now for the bird. Pop a bit of oil onto our chopping board there. Put a little bit of salt and pepper into the oil. And I'm gonna pot roast this bird on the carcass. Ptarmigan's nice with a bit of rareness to it. So he's got a good covering of oil there. Glistening there in the sun. It's amazing how lean this bird is. Not an ounce of fat on it. And he simply goes into our pot roaster there. So just get that ptarmigan sitting up there on a little trivet of vegetables, because you don't want it to burn and catch on the bottom. We'll pop our lid on. So now we've essentially got a pressure cooker. I'm just gonna sit him up there. And today he'll probably take 20 minutes to cook. But in your oven at home, it's probably somewhere between eight and 12 minutes, okay, at 200 degrees. So I wanna make a roasty with this. I've got some grated up potato here. I've got some cabbage, some bacon, and some beetroot to go with it. So we need to get a pan in the fire there, splash in a bit of oil, and what I like to do is pop a little scorn cutter in so that I've got a defined area for that roasty to go in. It just helps you get it started. So this, I've already seasoned it up. Now just pop that into the scorn cutter like that. Because I pre-cooked these earlier on and took the skins off, they keep that natural starch that's inside the potato. And because of that, makes all the little pieces stick together. Now just with your wooden spoon, you need to form that up into a nice round shape. And then around the outside of that roasty while it's cooking, I'm just gonna saute off my cabbage and I'm gonna put in a little bit of bacon. And we're just gonna cut them into little battens and that bacon fat that will render down in that pan will get soaked up by the roasty. Throw him in there. And as I've, got, uh, as I've got bacon in there, I'm not gonna salt it. I'm gonna drop in some of this beetroot. Just drop it into that cabbage. Now you can't see it and I made it earlier and I know I've cheated, but look, I am up here on the edge of a glacier. I've got some red wine sauce here. That red wine sauce just wants to come up to heat. So here you can just sit up there on the edge of that fire. Right, now, ptarmigan time. Oh. Grab your ptarmigan out and bring him over to your chopping board here, okay? Now he needs a couple of minutes to rest. It's been at a very high heat for quite a while and it gives us a good chance to serve up the rest of the dish. So we'll grab our roasty. Just use a little fish slice for that. Golden brown on both sides, looking good there. Now I want a little bit of my cabbage. Grab some of the bacon. Pop that on there. And now for the ptarmigan. I can smell the thyme. It smells very gamey. It's quite even hair-like, which is surprising. Look at that, big breast there. A lot of meat on there. It's cooked beautifully all the way through. I'm gonna have to try this, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna just take a bit of that under fillet. It is very gamey, it's, it's very pleasant. It's very much like partridge and pheasant mixed together. It's quite moist, surprisingly moist, considering the lack of fat that was on that bird. So I'm just gonna pop one of those breasts there. Take the one off the other side. I'll pop him up there like that. Very red meat. Like I say, very gamey. Then I've just got my red wine jus here. So onto the plate goes that. There we go, pot roasted ptarmigan, roasted potatoes, some beetroot, some cabbage, red wine sauce around the outside. It's a real taste of Greenland.